Well, the countdown to the Super Bowl is on, and while a lot of people opt to serve beer with their Super Bowl spread, why not class it up a bit? Serve some wine. Randy Hester from Texas winemaker CL Batard is here to show us which wines go perfectly with your Super Bowl foods. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning. I'm excited about this. I'm really excited. You guys see this huge bottle in front of me. It's taking everything in me not to just like <laughs> grab a lot of wine. pop it open. Six liters. So tell us, okay, wine is great for the Super Bowl, right? Wine is, you know, wine is great 365 days a year. Why not? Yeah, I agree. Uh, you know, a lot of people are reaching for the beer. It's beer and pizza. You know, wings are going to be on those tables. I, I, I'm, I'm bringing a bottle of wine. I want to make sure that I have something there. I want to, I'm going to enjoy. So yeah. that's, okay. what, that's what we're doing. So wings, let's start with the wings, right? Because that is the typical thing to eat uh, for the Super Bowl. What do you suggest pairing with wings? Buffalo wings, uh, spicy, tart, buttery. Mm -hmm. I'm going rosé. Uh, mm, rose going, all going day. Rose with the, with the spicy because you already have the heat from the wings. You don't want the heat from the alcohol. So you want lower alcohol. You want something juicy and fresh. So you get the sweet berries of the rose with the spicy wings. You're good to go. I like that. I like that. And then if you're going with the with the not so spicy wings, if you're going bold Texas barbecue sauce, like something honey. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to a Mouvedre. We've got uh, my Papa mm. Frenchy red wine here is Mouvedre. It's lower in tannin, again lower in alcohol, but pairs really well with those big bold flavors. And lower in alcohol, so you can just have more of it. Exactly. You see, and that's really what we want to do is just have all the wine. More. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. What about sausage? I see you got some sausage on this this spread. Right. So, uh, oh, and I should mention this is. Uh, this is Shoals Wings. So they smoke the wings before. So there's oh. all these deep layers of flavor, Shoals Garden. Um, the sausage, jalapeno cheddar sausage coming mm -hmm. from Terry Black's. Mm. Terry Black's. So um, we're going we're going lush. We're going white wine. We're going lush. We're going maybe some oak age. Okay. So, my Papa Frenchy white wine is aged in Garrison Brothers uh, bourbon barrels. So you have this lush tropical lemon wine. I think I need to try it. Let's do it. Because mm -hmm. you did. It. Now you said aged in bourbon barrels, and Let's that just got it. my attention. Because mm -hmm. you typically think of whites that are, I mean, reds that are done that way, yes, not whites. Yes, yes, yes. No, it, and it just adds to the flavor. So you have the the. <sighs> the smoke and the jalapeno and the cheddar. Right. And then you go to the lush and the tropical and the, the, the salty texture of the Albarino. It just pairs yes, so well. You don't need beer. <laughs> you don't need beer to go with this. Absolutely. This is fantastic. But you have something else there too, right? Yes, so homemade macaroni and cheese. Mm. So if, you, if you're not gonna go wings, if you're not gonna bring some fancy sausage, I'm cooking mac and cheese because I don't do dips. I don't like dips. Ah, okay. Right. So I'm going to make some mac and cheese and, and I'm going to pair it with my flagship wine. This is Ciel Buto. Uh, Ciel Buto is my great grandfather. So that's where the name comes from. This is my Tempranillo. Tempranillo, bigger, bolder, more tannins, pairs really well with the different cheeses. The macaroni and cheese has cayenne pepper, nutmeg, black pepper. So pair it with the Tempranillo. Now, is this your own? Your own macaroni and cheese that you made? Yes. Ah, don't see. tell my family I made this because okay. they were not invited. But right. I don't want anybody to get me in trouble. So can we can we convince you to, to give us a recipe maybe for this macaroni and we cheese? We can do that. We can okay. do that. Okay. I'll hold back some secrets. Okay. But, we can do that. <laughs> but you can do it. But again, you know, just tell people if people think they they may be afraid mm -hmm. to start to dip into wine, mm -hmm. don't be scared, right? Mm -hmm. What's a good solid thing to start off to try? Wine's easy. Rosé. Uh, you can drink rosé at any occasion, any meal, any anywhere you go. Rosé is just fine. Um, rosé has come a long, long way since mm -hmm. the old white Zinfandel days. Um, there, and you can find a rosé for anybody's uh, flavor palettes. So rosé, I would say start there, work your way into softer reds. White wines are very easy. You can go Pinot Grigio, you can go Sauvignon Blanc. Um, but yeah, if, if you start with a cold rosé, you, you can't go you wrong. You can ease your way That's into right. the wine with That's the rosé. Right. If folks want to find you because they want to try some of this wine, mm -hmm. particularly this one here, guys, um, this is just <laughs> Ashley's recommendation. What should, where can they find you? Absolutely. CLButo.com, uh, at CLButo on social media. Um, yeah, Papa Frenchy. Uh, was my great grandfather's name, and that's that's what we named the wines after. And then the, the flagship is the CL Buto. Love it. Well, we're gonna have all this information loaded onto kv.com for you guys right after the newscast. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.